good evening ladies and gentlemen welcome to triple n media i am dr nick nickam a cardiologist from houston texas in this series of cardiology landmark trials we're going to cover many trials that are of great importance in managing patients at bedside in this presentation we are going to be talking about uh, aldosterone in heart failure rals trial this was reported in new england journal of medicine in 1999 that's more than two decades ago but still it's one of the most important uh, landmark trials in the management of uh, heart failure patients uh, with reduced ejection fraction Let's look at the role of aldosterone in patients with heart failure. Just as we learned in patients with uh, heart failure with uh, re reduced ejection fraction there was an increase in the angiotensin renin system activity there was also an increase in the aldosterone activity. Here are some of the properties of aldosterone. It promotes retention of salt or sodium it increases the loss of uh, magnesium and potassium it activates the sympathetic nervous system it inhibits the parasympathetic system it also leads to myocardial and vascular fibrosis it can result in baroreceptor dysfunction it can cause vascular damage and impair arterial compliance all of which are going to work against patients with uh, heart failure with reduced ejection fraction so the purpose of this particular study was to look at the aldosterone inhibitors in patients with uh, congestive heart failure with reduced ejection fraction and these were all patients who had a left ventricular ejection fraction of less than 35% who were already on loop diuretics ace inhibitors and many of them were on digoxin they looked at a population of 1663 patients they were divided into two groups the treatment group which received an aldosterone antagonist namely spironolactone which consisted of 822 patients and the control group which uh, comprised of uh, 841 patients the treatment group in addition to receiving loop diuretics ace inhibitors and digoxin they also received spironolactone which is an aldosterone antagonist with a dose ranging from 12.5 to 25 mg daily this study was uh, stopped prematurely because of uh, the results that were seen which were quite quite impressive some of the endpoints in this particular study were all cause mortality number of hospitalizations for recurrent heart failure and symptom relief and here are the results of aldosterone in heart failure rals trial there were 386 deaths in the control group compared to 284 deaths in the treatment group those who received spironolactone there was a 30% relative risk reduction in deaths similarly there was a 30% reduction in the number of hospitalizations for heart failure there was also substantial improvement in functional classification with a p value of 0.001 this study clearly showed the benefit of aldosterone antagonists in patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction there are some side effects related to the spironolactone about 10% of these patients developed gynecomastia so they, some of them also complained of breast pain one of the reasons spironolactone was not initially used in patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction who were on ace inhibitors was because of the fear of hyperkalemia 
But in this particular study, the use of spironolactone did not show any significant hyperkalemia in patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. However, we know today that we need to closely monitor the serum potassium levels in patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, especially if they have compromised renal function. Aldosterone antagonists are most commonly used spironolactone or the new derivatives are a mainstay in the management of patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, especially in stage 3 and stage 4 heart failures. Thank you so much for watching this presentation. Please, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch other landmark studies in this, uh, in this series of uh, cardiology landmark studies. I am Dr. Nick Nickham. Thank you so much for your attention.